Good afternoon, dear investors, partners. This information is mostly for you. In the last videos, you could see the changes which are happening and which happened on the construction site. A month ago, or even less than a month ago, we were speaking about the priority tasks that the builders were to complete. One of these tasks is closing the thermal contour of the building. This task is being completed by the company Estron Building. It is our main subcontractor in terms of metal constructions for the building. We have a direct agreement with them for this type of work. And you see that the building is almost covered with casing. Insulation is there, most work is done, glazing is there as well. In the places where there are no frames, ventilation grates will be installed. Door frames are not closed yet and the gate. But now it is not reasonable to install them there. Because there will be concrete work inside the building. So the first task is to close the thermal contour. It will be completed by the end of this month. Only some finishing details will be left. But there will not be an obstacle for heating of the building. There where we have the gate, we don't have to put it there. We can close it with frames, just the way we did it before. There will be some losses, but not very significant. This task is almost completed. The second task is subconcrete work in the industrial part of the building. It is 90% done there. Pouring of the last prepared site is to be done. It can be done within one day. Everything is prepared there. As soon as the concrete pump is ready, this work will be done. And we will only have the ground floor of the administrative building, where work is being carried out in terms of leveling off and compacting a sand mixture, sand. This work will also be completed. Thus, these two tasks have almost been completed. Both. The next task we are to complete is hydro insulation. First of all, on the site where there will be thermal technical equipment, a thermo technical distributor. After that, we will need to pour concrete there to put reinforcement, frame of reinforcement, and pour concrete. Of course, we will do it in the rest of the building as well. All the work, but. This work is to be done in the first place on this site, to be able to start installing the thermotechnical equipment, heat distribution and accounting point. It is necessary to do to be able to supply centralized heating. And after that, we can say that the task of connecting the building to sources of heat of heat supply will be completed if engineering communications are performed. We don't only speak about supply of heat, we speak about all utility lines. Why? Because it is all connected. On many sides, trenches are united in one. That is why it is reasonable to do this work together. And we have to do it together. We should do it together, and we will do it in such a way. That is why, before it gets cold, apart from the work which is now being completed, we are to do all the volume of engineering work. It is absolutely indispensable. If we don't do it, 
Then we will have to connect the building to temporary heating systems, which are diesel generators of heat. We will have to put heaters on concrete, which is not a very good solution because it will be very expensive. The cold season lasts at least six months in a year. At least six months in a year. So expenses will not be reasonable in terms of dilution of parts of all the investors, of all the stakeholders, those who invested in the project. It will devour a lot of money. That's it. That is why we elaborated a program, a stimulation program. Solo Group elaborated a program for installment payments. And this program will be offered in the near future. All the relevant information will be placed on the relevant resources of Solar Group. And I'm asking you, dear investors, please have a look at it. And please see what you can do. Now it is warm, it is a warm season, and we are to do as much work as possible. This work is voluminous, it is a lot in terms of financial spend. Further work will not be of such scope, of such a scale. That work may be spread over time, and that work may depend on installment payments, but this work is to be done in a one-off way. If we do groundwork, if we start digging trenches, we will not be able to stop. We have also obtained ground authorization to be able to connect to networks. The ground authorization comes in action on the 24th of June, today that is. The way we will mobilize ourselves will influence how we will enter the winter, the cold season. Why can't we stop this work? Why can't we not heat the building? It is because a lot of concrete work has been done, not only in terms of partitions, but also in terms of ground. And if ground starts to freeze, it will disturb the concrete. We can't allow that. No way. So, dear investors, colleagues, partners, I am asking you to pay special attention to this information. I have spoken about it several times at webinars, but now it is there already, because the work that impacts the fact whether we will heed or not, this work has been done. And there is no question about whether we will heed or not. We will do that. Absolutely. One way or another we will do that. Will we pay an expensive price for that? And will we spread it over another six months? I don't think that we should do that. I would like us to commission the facility according to the planned schedule, the second quarter of 2023. Thank you.